Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with Duke, Roadblock, and Flint breaking through the fence on a North Korean guard tower. Lady J is keeping watch, and Mouse is acting as a sniper. Mouse creates a distraction for the guard, by shooting at a coffee cup in a guard's hand, as Duke and Roadblock approach a place where vehicles are parked, and take a man from the back of a truck. Meanwhile, Flint enters the guard tower, and replaces the North Korean flag with that of G.I. Joe's. We are then told, how the Joes captured Cobra Commander and Destro earlier, and that they are locked in a high security prison. Nobody knows the whereabouts of Storm Shadow and Zartan. Duke is now captain of the G.I. Joes which include Roadblock, Flint, Lady J, and the masked and mute Snake Eyes. After the mission, Roadblock and Duke are at Roadblock's house, playing some video games and having a good time. There is a news story on the TV, the Pakistani president is assassinated. Since earlier, Zartan has been impersonating the President of the United States, while the real President is held by the Cobras. Zartan as President meets up with his advisors, about what can be done about the situation in Pakistan. There are a few different suggestions, but President Zartan plans to send the G.I. Joes to Pakistan, to capture and neutralize a nuclear device so it not be exploited. Once there, the Joes land on the roof of the building where the weapon is kept. They fan out and within short order, locate the weapon on the ground floor and start shooting their way into and down the four levels of the structure. Within minutes, they have control of the building and the weapon, and remove it from the country. Duke contacts the White House to confirm this. Zartan goes to visit the real president, in an underground facility. He taunts the president and draws a knife across his own face. The nanomite technology, that keeps up his disguise rearranges his face after the cut. He says that the people prefer a president who looks like the real one, but acts boldly, without being afraid of blowing things up. Just like Zartan is doing. Meanwhile, the Joes are attacked by an airstrike, and their compound is destroyed. The team tries to scramble to safety while firing in return. Seeing Flint in danger, Duke jumps in to save him, but ends up getting killed. Roadblock, Flint, and Jay manage to hide in a well and survive. While this has happened, the next morning, President Zartan announces that the G.I. Joes had attacked and stolen a nuclear weapon in Pakistan. And for this, they have been eliminated. He also tells them, Snake Eyes had been the one to assassinate the Pakistani president. Meanwhile, Roadblock, Flint, and Lady J climb out of the well, and set off across the desert, determined to get revenge, for their comrades being killed and them being attacked. In Germany, Snake Eyes has been captured, and taken to the facility where Commander Cobra and Destro are being kept. Warden James escorts him to a room underground, where he is put in a liquid that can paralyze his entire body, except for the eyes and heart. The Warden welcomes him to hell, and takes off his mask. We see that it is actually Storm Shadow, not Snake Eyes. A Cobra member known as Firefly attacks the facility, with his explosive fireflies. Meanwhile, Storm Shadow breaks out, after making his heart stop and killing the guards. He goes on to break out Cobra Commander, but they leave Destro behind. They meet up with Firefly, as the Warden shoots and causes an explosion. He is killed by the Commander and they escape. Storm Shadow gets badly injured from the explosion. The Commander arranges Storm Shadow to be taken to recover from his injuries in the Himalayas. When the Blind Master, leader of the Arashikage clan in Tokyo, learns that Storm Shadow is alive, he sends the real Snake Eyes and his apprentice Jinx to capture him. They want Storm Shadow to reveal Cobra's plans, and also answer for the murder of his uncle. President Zartan shows Cobra Commander a large weapon called Zeus, which is under construction. He also informs him about the surviving Joes, and Firefly says he will take care of them. As the President announces that the Cobras will replace the Joes, Roadblock Flint and Jay are hiding in an abandoned gym, near Roadblock's old home. Lady Jay runs some analysis of the known President's speech and mannerisms, with those of the suspected imposter. They deduce that someone is impersonating their President. Flint asks Roadblock if they can trust anyone in the government, and he responds there is one man he knows. They visit General Joseph Colton, the original G.I. Joe. Roadblock explains the situation to him, and together they come up with a plan, to prove that the current president is an imposter. The first step consists of Jay pretending to be out jogging home with groceries. Her workout outfit grabs the attention of a man on the president's detail. He helps her out and she tricks him into a vehicle. Roadblock forces him to make a call that will get them closer to the president. We then cut to the Himalayan mountains, where Snake Eyes and Jinx have located Storm Shadow. There is a long drawn action sequence. Storm Shadow is healed by an old woman, when Snake Eyes and Jinx attack. 
He and Snake Eyes fight, while Jinx fights the old woman in another room. After some badass fighting, both Storm Shadow and the woman are taken down. Some more ninjas appear and come after them, as they try to run away with Storm Shadow tied up in a body bag. They battle it out along the snowy mountains, while on ropes and rappelling along the rocks. In the end, their mission is successful, and they take Storm Shadow with them back to Japan. At a fundraiser, Jay sneaks in as Amy Vandervoort, clad in a beautiful red dress that catches the eye of the president, along with his security. As President Zartan forces a dance out of her, she is able to get a hair off his coat and puts it in for a DNA test. They realize it is Zartan, and she gets out of there just as the security gets to know from facial recognition that it is Lady J. Roadblock is about to shoot Zartan as he gets out of the building, but he is attacked by Firefly. They both get into a bloody fight, but Flint and Jay reach in time. Firefly manages to escape. In Tokyo, when questioned by the Blind Master, Storm Shadow says that he did not kill the Hard Master, and proves it by fighting Snake Eyes with the weapon that killed the Hard Master, which breaks as it is an Arashikage steel. The Blind Master deduces that Zartan was the one that murdered the Hard Master, and frames Storm Shadow for it, who joined Cobra to bring it down from the inside. Exonerated, Storm Shadow accompanies Snake Eyes and Jinx, his cousin, as they join the Joe's efforts to stop Cobra, and avenge the Hard Master. Meanwhile, Firefly beats up the real president for kicks, before Zartan stops him. They bring in a machine to scan his eye, so that Zartan can gain control of Zeus. Snake Eyes, Jinx, and Storm Shadow show up at the Joes' hideout. Although the Joes are initially skeptical, they all eventually join forces against Zartan. They all head over to Colton's place, and he shows them his weapon collection which is hidden all over his kitchen. And the living room. And the couch. And the cupboard. There are a few grenades underneath the fruits in the fruit bowl too. They each take up their weapons, except Storm Shadow, and start preparing for an attack. Zartan invites the leaders of the world's nuclear powers to a summit at Fort Sumter, where he blackmails them into disabling their nuclear arsenals, by first launching America's nukes into the air, and then detonating them as they are high above the sky to show his commitment to disarmament. The other world leaders had also launched their missiles, and then follow suit in destroying them. He then reveals Project Zeus a weapon of mass destruction with seven satellites all over the earth. They just have to drop a rod, and it will hit the target. While this is going on, the Joes have started to close in onto the fort, slowly making their way inside. One of the rods is dropped onto London as a demonstration, as Commander Cobra and his team descends into the meeting room. London is almost completely destroyed as everyone watches in horror. Commander Cobra threatens to destroy the other cities as well, unless the leaders submit to Cobra. By now, Cobra has taken over the White House as well, changing the flags to their own. Storm Shadow suddenly attacks Zartan, breaking his cover and a fight ensues. Jinx is also there, and she starts fighting off the Cobra goons, as Zartan tries to escape, and Storm Shadow follows him. Meanwhile, Cobra Commander instructs Firefly to get the briefcase from Zartan. Outside, Roadblock takes out the tanks with a tank of his own, as Lady J and Colton go to retrieve the real president from where he is being held. After shooting more Cobra guards, they make their way to a bunker, where a man holds a gun to the president's head. Jay shoots the president in the arm to get him out of the way, while Colton kills the Cobra's man. Somewhere under the fort, after a fight with Cobra goons and a chase, Storm Shadow holds Zartan to his sword's point. But before he can do anything, a Firefly lands on the sword and explodes. Firefly walks in, grabs the briefcase, and leaves. As Storm Shadow gets up, he sees Zartan pointing a gun at him. He says that Zartan betrayed the Hard Master, and made him what he is. Zartan agrees before shooting. But Storm Shadow reacts lightning fast, slicing the bullet in half and throwing the sword at Zartan, piercing his chest. The nanomites on his face fall off, revealing his true face. The others are in pursuit of the Commander and Firefly. Flint and Snake Eyes track down the Commander, but he gets away on a helicopter. He has ordered the other cities to be bombed as well. Roadblock tracks down Firefly, who is trying to get away with the briefcase. They fire at each other, and Firefly gets onto a boat. Roadblock chases after him, and rams it into the other boat. On shore, they begin fighting again, but Roadblock manages to overpower him and at the very last moment, is able to override the sequence which causes all the Zeus satellites to self-destruct. As Roadblock walks away, Firefly grabs a Firefly explosive, and is about to attack but as he watches, Roadblock pulls the detonator he had taken and triggers it, killing Firefly in one of his own explosions. After the fighting is done, Storm Shadow gives his weapon to Jinx, and after sharing a look with Snake Eyes, walks away. 
the real president is put back into power, and addresses the nation at a ceremony, where Roadblock, Jay, Flint, Jinx, and Snake Eyes are commemorated as heroes. Colton thanks each of them, but when he gets to Roadblock, he presents him with an M1911 pistol that belonged to General George S. Patton, to use it to find Cobra Commander. Roadblock proudly raises the weapon, and lets out a single shot in honor of his fallen comrades. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.